All right, Christian Dareshaw, left tackle from Virginia Tech. I'm going to break down about about 15 of his plays through the pass game, the run game. Um, right now, he's mocked in the first round, and I think that's fair. I don't think he's like top 10, but I do think first round is fair for Dareshaw. Um, three year starter, three year starter at left tackle from you know his time as a freshman, and he's got good balance. He's really calm and everything he does. Like you can see, there's like. His movement is very just like calm, cool, collected. And that's something I look for in tackles big time in their pass sets. Um, and we'll, we'll go through it. But his punch is not as violent, but he has good hand placement. Uh, he's better fit in like a, a zone scheme where it's a lot of combos and working to the next guy. And then on the backside, we'll see the last three plays we go to. It's unreal what he can do, do on the backside of an outside zone, um, which which gets me pretty exci- excited for Christian Darasaw. But before we get into the film real quick, please make sure to subscribe and like check out the playlist at the end. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of stuff. So let's get into it. Christian Darasaw. So we're going to go through his pass reps to start. Click. So solid. And, and this, these all, all these reps are against a Quincy Roche from Miami, who's a good player and a guy I like. He's got his hands. In a good spot. Again, it's not really a punch more than it's a place. But it's good hand placement. Like, that's good hand placement right there. And then you'll see with all this, is his hips gradually open. Like, he doesn't get vertical. Which, in the NFL, you, you have to. Um, but I do think that is more of the Virginia Tech scheme than anything. Because this QB is never taking these five-step drops or anything, you know? Like, anytime when he, he's moving around, uh, a player on the edge, it's never an issue. So, I do think that's more scheme-related. Next rep. Good punch. Again, the hips, like I said, this is a theme for him. The hips slowly open it up. At least it's not, you know, one of these guys where... It's once they're open, they're open, and he's completely sideways, and they're bending the edge around him. Now, he lunges a little bit on this, but he does get good hand placement inside the shoulder pads, and then is able to throw him off. And that's a good rep. Again, I would like to... He doesn't lean a ton, but he did lean on that one. But it shows when he does have that, like he has that power to really get guys out, 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 off of him. Again. Calm, cool, collected. If you're going to put your, if you're going to try and go around that edge, you could put this hand a little lower, but that's, I mean, that's fine, especially with where his QB is going to be. Bam. Ready. Good rep. Good rep. This is not a great rep. Again, you see how this QB is... You know, he's not taking these deep drops. Sorry. And he opens up a hip, and it's more of hand placement than a punch. Now, he's not leaning, like, lunging or anything crazy. You know, he's lunging a little bit, but he's not, like, over his skis. But because his hips are open... It just gives that edge away, you know? Whereas, he sets vertically and has his hips open here. start Like, just starts to open them here. Well, then you're pushing them around here. But instead, Roche is bending them at the edge. Let's see, let's see where he's bending the edge at. He's bending the edge at 7 yards instead of at 9, 10 yards. And again, the hands, both on the right shoulder. So not not the greatest of rep, but not a horrible rep either. Again, the hope. I mean, the hips open up. I'm not going to keep repeating myself on that. But could have better hand placement. One is on the face. I guess his hand on the face mask. But you see, he's, he's got that right hand on the shoulder pad instead of the small of the back. And instead of washing him around. He tries like to punch him around instead of washing him around. Keep the feet moving. Keep these feet moving out here. Wall them off. 
here. We've got a, wi a wide nine technique, which you didn't get a lot in this game, so I wanted to take advantage of this one. This is where you do want to open up your hips a little earlier, is when you have these guys, you know, out here. I mean, good rep. Again, they know that their QB is not going to be back here, so it is a little more scheme related. So just wash them around the pocket. Here, this, I love this rep. So you got a stunt where they're sending him here, him around, and then the, the linebacker. So they're trying to, they're trying to confuse him as to get his eyes looking down here for this lineman, the stunt, but the linebacker blitzes and you see him just pancake it and then goes for more. That's the part I love. Again, at this point, hey, you guys want to switch, whatever. We're hand-to-hand, -hand, basically holding hands. He's The center's got his guy. The guard knows where he's going to tackle. Dare Shaw knows where he's going. Bam. And again, this isn't some violent punch. You know what I'm saying? But it just shows his upper body strength is, is right there. It's like he doesn't have to lunge. He doesn't have to totally load up. And he's able to put a dude on his ass. And then goes and looks for more. Um... These are the only two reps that he was challenged inside. And that's something that happens when you do open up your hips like um, Dare Shaw does. Is you're not going to get a lot of challenges inside. But both times it really happened, he um, didn't do great. And this is where you see his feet. See his feet right there? See how they're close together? So instead of him you know, having this left foot being the foot that moves and the right foot sliding more than clicking... That's where you get yourself in trouble. It's because of that, you can leave your inside exposed. Now the guard's there to help. But ideally, you want this foot he here, then this one just to slide here. Not to, not to step. You want to step, slide, step, slide. But because his feet are close together, that... He has to put, instead of just powering this right foot down, you know, pushing off this left foot, well, now the foot's dropping back. Instead of powering down, the foot's dropping back. But that that's the kind of stuff you can work on, and the next rep is, is very similar. Very similar. Again, decent recoverability because his guard is there in the way. Now, the feet aren't clicking as bad on this one, but watch where the right foot goes. When this inside move comes, you want this right foot here. You want it powering down in this area. And watch where it goes. It drops back, which isn't horrible. But the left foot is just kind of like stuck in the mud. And at that point, you're beat. At that point, you're beat. So that's, that's what we got on the pass reps. In the run game, um, solid. He's not going to bully anybody. He, he's not going to bully guys. Here we got him on a run out. Again, I wish he would punch more, especially in the run game. Like, use your hands. Get on, get your hands on the other player first. Because now you're basically hugging this guy. He's in your chest. But you, he does a good job finishing them. Like, once he's engaged, he's able to handle it. You know, and all he's trying to do is torque this defensive end out. Roche out to give the running back a hole to go through. And it's there, but the QB holds. But, I mean, watch the running back go through there. You know, and that's him jogging, you know, because it is a fake handoff. He's good on combos, though. When he's got when he's got that help, he's really good at combos. Watch this double team. Hip to hip. Bam, that's the way you want it. Moving a guy off of his point. We're taking him from here and moving this defensive tackle back here. Now, keep your hips together so that when the guard comes off to number five, you're still on it. But that's a good move, and it shows what he can do, and, and that's a scheme like what the Giants do, where it's going gonna, it's gonna to fit really well doing that. It's, again, his combo blocks are really good. He's smart with them. So this one's not necessarily a combo because the defensive lineman hits, um, jumps down into the other gap. But it's like, okay, that's what you're doing. Let me find a linebacker. Bam. Pick up a linebacker. Touchdown. Give him a little push, too. I like that. Like, don't think you're going to step over my guy or step on somebody. And then celebrate. I like that. I like that a lot. 
I wish he'd keep his feet chopping a little more in the run game. Like, see, he's here, engage, and watch his feet. From here, feet don't move. Keep those feet churning. And part of that is because he just let this guy get in his chest. And they're, and they're titty the titty. And he's got a good base. You know, he's, he could be a little lower, but he's fine, especially at that size. But chop those feet. Chop those feet. Try and get those hands out from, uh, you know, inside of you. Chop those feet and go. And you could turn what's an okay block into a really good block doing that. Now, this is where you can see how athletic he is, um, his agility, and why you can tr like put him in any scheme, uh, especially an outside zone scheme. And a lot of guys can't, like, tackles can't block in an outside zone scheme. They or can do it. I mean, this stuff is nuts. This is a hard block to do. In fact, I do, I do a rookie left tackle video, and I did it on Wills, Thomas, Becton. They all struggled with this. I mean, they all struggled with this badly. Um, and Wills, who's like a great technician, had like real issues with this where they had to change what he was doing. And watch. Bam, hinges him around. That's a hard block to make. To get across this guy's face. Not only to get across his face, but to be able to hinge it off. I mean, no, that shows good flexibility, good agility, good athleticism. And he did it every time he was asked to do it. That's a hard block to make. Now, you're going to get different a different level of player in the NFL. But, you know, Miami's no scrubs either. Again, walling guys off. That's, all, that's, that's what your job is on this backside. It's not to freaking maul some guy or pancake him. Wall, wall him off. Get in his way so he's not, he's not able to be uh, per, real pursuit. Again, I mean, just beautiful. That's a hard, like, I, I can't ex express how much of a hard block that is. Bam, swing those hips. Good stuff. And, and watch your guys score a touchdown. So, Dareshaw, I like him a lot. Uh, I think he's like a mid to lower first round. I don't know how, I don't know how the tackles are going to play out this year. Um, you know, where last year we had a very clear top four. So, but I like Darish. I think he'd be a, an awesome option for any team. And I think he's someone who will play tackle at the NFL level and be starting for a long time. So, if you like these videos, check out the playlist. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time.